All right, Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for the 9th of November through the 15th. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. So if you're new to this type of astrology, do check the description down below because your sign might be different. All right, Sagittarius, so a lot of easy aspects this week. Um, a new moon taking place in your 11th house of networking and ideals as well as continued energy in the career sector of your chart, which is uh, Mars and Venus there. So if you look at the transit graph, a lot of easy aspects, a lot of sextiles and trines from Chiron, uh, two trines from Chiron. And what's really emphasizing this and the focal point of the week is the fact that Mercury is very close to this new moon, who are both sandwiched right in between this Jupiter Pluto trine. So you can see this Jupiter Pluto trine has been taking place involving your first house and your ninth house, expanding your horizons, expanding uh, what uh, you know, your philosophies, how you see life, your life path in general this year, which has been Jupiter, as well as changes to you over many years, you know, connecting to a deeper uh, energy of you and the depth in your relationships as well, which is the first aspect in the seventh. So here, uh, there's been a lot of support for expansion and for change and for new open horizons for you. Um, and now with the new moon, it's right in between those in the 11th with Mercury also. So essentially, it could be, you know, new beginnings involving uh, groups. It could be a new community related uh, activities that you might be a part of. Uh, with Mercury here, it could just be very social, maybe with your friends, with networking. And uh, with Mercury too, putting in a very practical energy into these uh, more these visions, you know, these ideals that you have for the future. And with the new moon, it certainly can come into fruition both in the short term with the short term goals over the next two weeks, as well as the next six months, which is the solar cycle. And, uh, you know, in six months, you'll have that full moon in this 11th house. So uh, with that being said, this is a great week for setting new intentions. It's a great week for planting new seeds, for trying new things. It's all experimental, usually during the new moon. Uh, the energies are quite low at this time also, but I think with Mercury, it's a great time to think about it, maybe implement it and work with it on a daily level. And like I said, with these sextiles, there is opportunities. And I think it's going to be continued opportunities to expand your horizons as well as make a deep, powerful change with you and how you express yourself, which is that first house. So that's going to be the focal point. And uh, within that context, we also do have Mars going over the North Node in the 10th. And so there's been a lot of energy with the future for you in terms of maybe career or your long term goals, uh, your public image. And so now you can continue to put energy into that, which is Mars, the drive, the intention and continue to enjoy it as well, which is Venus maybe even make connections in the uh, career sector uh, also. And your energy level should be quite good, I would say, too, with Mars at the top of the chart. But um, this week in particular, the North Node is going to be activated by Mars, essentially uh, implying that the North Node in your 10th uh, house over the past two years has been for you to connect to your work, you know, to grow and expand in your career front or in the future, whatever it is you feel like you do for like your legacy. And Mars, of course, the planet that sets those intentions, puts the energy needed into those areas. It's a fantastic week for that, especially around Thursday. And I think all in all, there's just shifts and changes happening involving it. So seeing that and being proactive about it, I think is a great way of working with it. I think there's going to be a change with your self-expression. Mars rules your fifth house of Aries. And also a change to maybe, you know, relaxation and going with the flow, which is Mars ruling that 12th also. So that's going to be a key as well as Venus uh, forming a very nice sextile up to Saturn here on Friday. So Venus ruling your sixth house of health diet routine could be quite grounded with those particular areas. And Venus ruling that 11th, again, positive energy into networking, socializing, community related things, organizations, all of this stuff that is unfolding for you uh, both in the short and long term with that new moon. So that's going to be the uh, highlight, um, especially with these easy aspects up to depth and change there with uh, the 11th as well as expansion in the 11th and uh, trying from Chiron too. You know, there's healing. There's healing taking place with that 11th house. And uh, this has been about uh, healing with your communications, a healing with your intelligence, you know, anything that is, involves that intellectual sort of energy. And that's very positive and very supportive towards these new beginnings this week. All right, Sagittarius, so have a great one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.